So in this problem, we have 5y minus 3 times y. Now, we could also write this problem as y times 5y minus 3. And some of you might want to do that because you like multiplying with the Schroeder property this way. Right? But it really doesn't matter which way you, where you write the y. It's 7. Oh, it's minus 7? No, 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 no. no. The, the y is 7. Yeah. Oh. I wonder where that's from. So you could write it either way, right? This is the same thing as if I did 5 times 3 or 3 times 5. It doesn't matter which way you multiply, right? So if I multiply with my distributive property on the, on the right side or on the left side, you're still going to be doing the same thing. And what I'm talking about is when you have a multiplication by an expression in parentheses, you need to make sure you multiply this term times both of these terms. Now, where students, where I saw a, ma a major mistake going on, was students were combining 5y and 3. Okay? Now, I'll give you an example. This doesn't, now we don't know the value of y. And that's why we can't, we don't know the value of y, so that's the reason why we cannot combine that with the number. Alright? Now, if I say 5 horses minus 3 chickens, what's the answer? This time, teachers at this time, we'll be conducting a test of the fire alarm system. Please do not evacuate the building. We'll be conducting a test of the fire alarm system at this time. Thank you. Are we allowed to panic? Huh? Are we allowed to panic? I don't know what this is. Okay. So I guess I'll just keep on talking until I hear a fire alarm. So you said five? Five horses minus three chickens is five horses minus three chickens, right? You can't combine that to say that's two horses or two chickens, right? Does that make sense? Five horses minus three chickens, you can't combine those to say that's two horses or two chickens. Does that make sense? We don't know the value of y. So how are you going to say 5y minus 3? These are not like terms. We don't know the value. So you cannot say that 5y minus 3 equals 2y. Because you don't, those aren't the same. This is like five horses, three chickens. They're totally different. We don't know the value of y. So you cannot say that it's equal to 2y, nor can you say it's equal to the number 2. When you have terms that are unlike terms, when you have them not being the same, you cannot combine them. The only thing we can do is apply distributive property. That's really So you multiply our 7 times both terms inside of there. And notice that my term is negative. That's a negative 3. All right? You could also do it a different way. You could also put the 7 out there and just do 7 times 5y. Teachers, minus. as a reminder, we will be running and conducting a fire alarm test at this time. Please ensure that the fire alarm in your room is that has a blinking light and is sounding a tone. If you have a trouble with the fire alarm in your office, you will call extension 1002 to report the trouble. If you have trouble only, please call extension 1002 at the conclusion of this test to report trouble. Thank you. Okay, you guys see this? So you multiply by both terms. 7, five, seven times 5y is 35y minus 21. That's your final answer. That was like a 10 minute video. <laughs>